very excited today to be reviewing the Cord Hugo M Scaler. Cord always make their products in really luxurious milled aluminium cases and the Hugo M Scaler is no exception here. What it is, is a upscaler to upscale your high res or CD quality music to higher sample rates. But why do we need to do that? I mean, how can we make CD better quality than, than it is? You can't make a VHS video better than an HD Blu-ray for argument's sake. So this kind of misses the point with the M scaler because the M scaler is about its filter and that's why you're buying it. And on that score, it has a very special digital filter and which has been painstakingly designed by the core designer, Rob Watts. And what it's actually designed to do is to make transients better. Transients are the changes in decay with time of the frequencies of a sound source. In layman's terms, I guess, basically how realistic the start and stop of notes or sounds within music. Apparently the brain is very sensitive to transient timing errors. So improving those improves the quality of your music. Because each digital cable has a maximum sample rate and this M scaler is sampling your CD many times over, you need two digital cables to your DAC. And this is called dual data mode. And you can use this mode with your Hugo 2, your Qtis DAC, the Hugo TT2 and the Core Dave. And all these DACs have the facility to take two inputs for this dual data. Of course, you don't actually need to use a Core DAC with the Hugo M scaler, in which case you'll just use the single digital output. The connections are pretty easy on the M scaler. You've got a power connection here, cord supply, a switch mode power supply. You've got your two BNC digital inputs. You can use a adapter if you have RCA digital cables. Obviously you've got your two optical digital connections here, a USB B input to connect up a computer, or your server, then your two digital outputs, and of course the two dual BNC outputs to your core DAC, or if you're using a non core DAC, you'll only be using one of these. So the Hugo M scanner is actually very easy to use. You've got various selection buttons on the front fascia. First off, a video sync selection. Then you've got an input button which allows you to select through your di different digital sources. At the moment I've got that selected to my Zenith via USB. The colour of this button here allows you to see the incoming sample rate. At the moment red is CD. And then here this is also showing you that the outgoing sample rate is CD, so in other words, it's just passing it through to your DAC. The OPSR button allows you here to select between different upscaling sample rates. If you have it on the white setting, you're going to be sampling 16 times CD quality, which brings it out about 705 kilohertz. Finally, these two buttons at the end don't actually have any function. They're just there for future core products. Right, so that's enough about all the technicalities. How does this thing actually sound? One thing I would say is if you're looking to boost a DAC that's a fraction of the price of this M scaler, I think you might be disappointed. What it's not going to do is boost the performance of a DAC beyond its means. If you're looking at it as an investment to use with a Qtist or a Hugo 2, my advice would be to look at the Hugo TT2 instead. The Hugo TT2 just does more per pound than the Hugo M scaler. You can't expect an upscaler to be better than the DAC itself, it's just not going to happen. The Hugo M scaler is a kind of finishing off product 
more than anything, to a really fantastic hi-fi. What's actually quite surprising is how it has a kind of uncanny ability to widen and deepen the sound stage of your hi-fi. That's the main thing you'll notice with the Hugo M Scalar. There's a track I play on an album by Vangelis called The Theme from Antarctica and it has this massive sound stage already but playing it through the, the M Scalar it just goes leaps and bounds beyond what you'd expect and it really presents the, the coldness and desolation of that track. What I actually noticed with the Hugo TT2 is that this wider sound stage gives a, a much more focusing sound within the mid-range. The other thing is, is that this ability to capture transients in music is what makes the timbral information of the track just come alive. So the overall effect is one of much more realism and it just makes music much more pleasing. The other thing with the M scaler is that when you're using it at its maximum upscaling resolution, you just don't want to go back to the pass-through because sound quality is just so, so very different. I said initially in my review that I thought the M scaler improved sound quality by about 30 to 40 percent. If anything, I think that's a little bit over generous, but it's it's still doing a good job for what it for what it is and you're definitely getting 20 to 30 percent improvement. I found that on a Chord Cutis deck. Hugo TT2 that I'm also using it with at the moment, it's slightly better. Obviously it's meant to be used with the TT2 because it's part of the same tabletop range. I did actually try the Hugo M Scaler with my Cyrus DAC XP signature DAC and it was good but it wasn't anywhere near the value of using it with the Qtist or the Hugo TT2 so I think this is probably a unit that you need to use with a really really good hi-fi. So I don't actually think it's as good a value as a Hugo TT2 if you've got a lesser DAC, then you definitely want to try the Hugo TT2 first. But as I say, you can't fault it for what it is and what it does. And it's definitely something that you should consider. And it's a very, very worthy piece of hi-fi kit.